seasons. They were celebrating last night at RIT, by the way, and that celebration continued into today. The Tigers gathered inside the locker room at the Gene Policini Center, glued their eyes to the TV, and discovered their fate for the NCAA tournament. Saturday at 4 o'clock is... <laughs> Yeah, the Tigers got exactly what they said they expected to get, a matchup with number one overall Minnesota State. Now, RIT earned this trip last night with a 5-1 to one win in the American Hockey Championship. It was their seventh straight win overall, but they still ended up with this tough draw. Don't think of the Tigers as the lowest seed in the tournament, though. With only 16 teams, there's an incredible amount of parity here. Two years ago, Yale won it all as a 15 seed. And, of course, five years ago, RIT went all the way to the Frozen Four in this very position. This is a clean slate, a new, new story to be told. Uh, none of our players have only heard about it, but they, they weren't around here. So they've got to write their own script now, and we're excited about what they're capable of doing. That gets me goosebumps like right now and, and think that we could do the exact same thing this upcoming weekend and like I said, game by game. And hockey is a very fun game, very strange. There's no formula to it. We've heard stories, guys have passed down, you know, what it was like and, you know, everyone's saying, you know, just relish the moment and, you know, go in, go in full 100% uh, and anything can happen, really. Yeah, plenty more on this game as it approaches on Saturday. And while 